Today on our 2010 Dodge Journey, we're going to install the Tow Ready T1 connector, part number 118495. First, we'll start by opening up the rear cargo door. Then we're going to remove the two fasteners that secure each taillight assembly. To remove the assemblies, pry the center tab out and then remove the push pin. Next, we'll carefully pry and pull the taillight assembly away from the vehicle. You'll notice after we remove it, there are two alignment tabs that secure it to the body of the vehicle. We want to be careful not to break. Next, we're going to go ahead and remove the connector from the taillight assembly. To do this, you'll need to pull back on the locking tab lock, then press on the lock and remove the connector. Now we can go ahead and set the taillight assembly aside. We're going to go ahead and repeat the same process on the passenger side. With our taillight assembly set aside, we're ready to go ahead and start installing the Tow Ready T1 connector. The connectors for the brown and yellow lead are going to be for the driver's side. You'll notice that each connector matches the manufacturer's so we can plug in line with the manufacturer's wiring. So we'll snap it together and then lock it down. The next connection is going to be our ground connection. This is the white wire with the preformed ring terminal attached. We'll use the self-tapping screw provided to secure it directly to the body of the vehicle. Now with our ground wire secured, we're going to go ahead and take the remaining wires, which will be the green wire connector and the four pole connector. We're going to route them down between the bumper cover and the sheet metal or body of the vehicle. Now with our wires fed underneath, we'll go ahead and route them over to the passenger side. When routing your wires over to the passenger side, you need to be mindful of excessive heat such as exhaust or moving components such as a steering or suspension. To avoid the exhaust as much as possible, we're going to route the green wire connector through the bumper channel here at the back of the vehicle. Using a pull wire, I'll go ahead and feed it into position first. Then we'll use some black electrical tape to secure the connector to my pull wire. Now we'll go ahead and feed the connector up into the bumper channel and then we'll use the pull wire to pull it out the other side. Now I've got the wire routed over to the passenger side, I'll go ahead and leave my pull wire on to feed it up behind the passenger side taillight assembly. I'll go ahead and remove the pull wire from my green wire fed up behind the passenger side taillight assembly and now we can go ahead and route the four pole connector. To do this, I'm going to go up over the bumper structure to stay away from the exhaust. Now with my pull wire in position, again we'll just use some black electrical tape to secure the four pole connector to the pull wire. With our wire secure, we'll go ahead and pull it into position. Once we have it up over the bumper structure, we'll then go ahead and remove the pull wire, route the four pole connector to the hitch, and then start securing it with some black zip ties. Now with our wires secured down below, we'll go ahead and take our side cutters or snips, just cut off the excess from our zip ties to clean up our install look. Now let's go ahead, complete installing the T connectors and reinstalling the taillight assemblies. Here on the passenger side, we'll go ahead and connect to the manufacturer's wiring. And then I'm gonna take a black zip tie and secure the green wire to the manufacturer's wiring just to ensure that it doesn't fall down between the bumper cover and the body panel. Now we can go ahead and reinstall the taillight assembly. Taking the other end of our new T connector and plugging directly into the socket of the tail light and then locking it in position. As we reinstall the tail light assembly, we'll line up the pins that are covered underneath, secure it into position, and then reinstall our push pins. Now we'll go ahead and repeat the same process on the driver's side. And with both tail light assemblies reinstalled, that'll complete the installation of our new Tow Ready T1 connector, part number 118. 495 on our 2010 Dodge Journey.